Hi, I'm Jessica D. Prospero. I am a student in Cabrini College's Introduction to Mass Communication course. In this class, we're learning how to be critical consumers of news and information, as well as responsible producers of media. For this website project, I'm stepping into the role of responsible producer and working with a team to educate audiences about the injustice of the effects of child abuse and neglect. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the long-term effects of child abuse and neglect. Did you know about 40 million children worldwide suffer abuse every year, with more than 1,500 children dying of abuse in the United States annually? Also, child abuse has far-reaching negative effects on its victims and on society. Survivors of child abuse and neglect are greater risks for physical, emotional, work and relationship problems throughout childhood and into adulthood. The treatment for child abuse involves first securing the safety of the child from further abuse and addressing any physical injuries from which the child may be suffering. The emotional needs of the child are then assessed and addressed. I'd like to tell you a story about this topic to help you understand it further. Kathy was 25 years old when she referred to Save Horizon from a nearby hospital. She was pregnant with her first child and was having a routine doctor's exam when she broke down into uncontrollable tears. When Kathy was with the counselors, she admitted she was sexually abused by her father from the age of seven. He threatened to inflict the same actions of rape and abuse to her younger sister if she did not keep these actions to herself. Her father had been raping her sister all along, but Kathy did not discover this until the age of 12 and was desperate to protect her and herself. Well, Kathy, with all her strength and courage, told her secret to one individual, her grandmother. Her grandmother did not believe her own son could ever do such a thing and warned Kathy that if she ever spoke of this again, she would bring shame to herself and to the family. Kathy never spoke of it again until she found Safe Horizon 13 years later. After years of oppression, shame, self-doubt, and denial, Kathy sought support from the counseling center to come to terms with the emotional trauma of the abuse. With attending and seeking a therapist, Kathy concluded that it was a reality of bringing her own child into the world that caused the crisis of the, that finally got her the help she needed all these years. Kathy felt that she needed to bring her father to justice. With being 25 years old, she was two years too late to file criminal damages against her father. This was a struggle for her, but she just wanted her father to take responsibility for his crimes. She knew he would never do so without the weight of the justice system behind her. She was also tormented by the possibility that her father was like many child sexual abusers, a repeat offender who might make other little girls suffer as she and her sister had. I'd like to encourage you to become more educated on this topic by visiting the Children's Defense Fund online at childrendefense.org. The more we know, the more we can use our voices to bring about change in service of these children and our society.